we've been down this road uh, a couple times before, uh, but this is a new iteration. And one of the things that I just wanted to highlight is that, again, uh, this is for all of our folks uh, who uh, stand in medians, not just uh, our homeless population, not just those who are sign waving, not just those who are soliciting for uh, whatever sorts of charities uh, are out there. Um, we, through our Vision Zero uh, plan, have understood how risky it is to be in our roadways. Uh, approximately 40% of pedestrians die when struck by a vehicle that travels at 30 miles per hour. 80% die when struck by a vehicle traveling at 40 miles an hour. Uh, we've had deaths, unfortunately, of folks uh, in our roadways, uh, one in my district and another in Councilmember Navarro's district, Richard Lee Cooper, uh, on a median was fatally struck by an out-of-control SUV in June of 2017. And Mary Josephine Fish was killed uh, on the median in uh, May of 13 in Wheaton. Um, what this would do is actually just require uh, that for any high-speed roadway that's over 25 miles per hour, that a person would have to get uh, a permit that would uh, ensure that they've gone through uh, some safety uh, instructions on how to keep themselves safe and keep themselves out of harm's way. Our Department of, uh, uh, how, our Department of Health and Human Services would actually act as the issuing agency. Uh, permit applications would be available in a multitude of places, including at our homeless shelters, um, educational materials that identified the risks of roadside solicitation and providing safety rules would be provided with a permit. What this is doing is it's saying that if people are going to put themselves in harm's way, that at least we give them the tools necessary to try and keep them safe. We do it when it comes to construction workers that are working on the side of the road. We give them yellow vests and we tell them what the proper procedures are. We do it when it comes to people that are actually working with our Department of Corrections and picking up trash along the highway or along our roadsides. And we give them bright yellow vests and tell them about the proper procedures. And we have people looking out to make sure that they remain safe. And we should do the same when it comes to anyone else uh, who's in our medians. Nobody should be treated any less uh, because of the fact that they may be homeless or soliciting for any type of charity or whatever the case may be. Uh, and so from that perspective, I think that this is a good way in which we approach uh, our Vision Zero goals and also protect our residents. I really want to thank our Montgomery County Coalition for the Homeless, namely, namely Susie uh, Sinclair Smith, who helped us, as well as Christine Willens, who really uh, helped us to brainstorm uh, how best to try and achieve safety uh, for all of our residents here in the county. So thank you, Mr. President.